I would like to thank all South Australians for doing a fantastic job following health advice, practising good hygiene and social distancing. As a result, we've seen the numbers of new cases of COVID-19 decrease in South Australia. Most of our cases are related to overseas or interstate travel, and evidence suggests that community transmission is relatively low in our community at the moment. In addition to all the things we've done as individuals to stop the spread, we have also imposed restrictions on our borders. We've greatly expanded our contact tracing team here in SA Health. And we have one of the highest rates of testing of COVID-19 in the world. I understand it is really hard to make such dramatic changes to the way we live our lives and to keep these sustaining. And we're all having to give up things we enjoy doing in line with the restrictions and recommendations and we absolutely must continue to do these things to protect ourselves, our families and our community. This is to make sure the numbers of COVID-19 positive cases stay low while we finalise preparations to ensure our health system is truly in the best possible place in terms of numbers of ICU beds, protective masks and other equipment for our staff and also staff training. At the moment, there are four main reasons why you would need to leave your home. One, shopping for essentials that you can't order online. Two, accessing medical care or providing assistance or care to a family member. Three, exercising outside. And four, travelling to and from work or education. And if you do need to leave the house, keep at least 1.5 metres away from other people. While in South Australia, public and private gatherings are currently restricted to 10 people with our social distancing rules, we also strongly recommend that you minimise contact with people outside your family. By doing so, we may be able to avoid the need to impose even tighter restrictions like they have done in other states. You can certainly leave the house to exercise, such as in a park or on a walking trail, but go by yourself or as your family group and keep your distance from other people. Entertaining friends at home and group fitness and even things like taking kids to the playground are things we should not be doing right now. And going away for Easter and the school holidays, even though this is disappointing, should be avoided. If you do this, you're putting yourself at risk and putting vulnerable regional communities at risk. As I've mentioned before, Eating hot cross buns and Easter eggs do not increase the risk of COVID-19. And even though churches have been closed to the public, Easter is a special time of reflection for many people. And I trust that this Easter brings comfort and a sense of hope for many of us. Older people and those with medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, or people with weakened immune systems are more vulnerable these people should be staying at home as much as possible. If you have these people in your family or community, please try and help them out with such things as dropping off groceries or collecting their medications for them so they don't have to leave the house. And as always, we must be practicing excellent hygiene. Thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water frequently throughout the day. Cover coughs and sneezes with your elbow or a tissue and make sure you wash your hands afterwards. And very importantly, do not go out if you are sick. Finally, a reminder to people who are returning home from overseas or traveling from interstate, people who have been in contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19 or people who are waiting for a COVID-19 test result, you absolutely must remain in quarantine as directed. This is enforceable in South Australia and you must do this to protect others. If we do all of these things, we can continue to keep ahead of the curve and avoid the tighter restrictions that have been needed in other states. But I do understand that there's a lot of information about coronavirus and it's sometimes overwhelming and confusing. Please seek information from trusted sources such as SA Health's website and social media. 
Also, please try and look after yourself and each other. Keep connected with your support networks using digital communications or by phone. And simply be kind to each other and be patient. We're all in this together. And as a South Australian community, this is the way we're going to be able to overcome COVID-19.